catch the beginning. So um, I uh, recently got this song uh, on a set list and I was playing through the set list and um, I liked that intro so I was like okay uh, who played that intro? I was looking it up and strangely it seemed like there was a million versions of people showing chords and such forth um, but no one had shown the the intro as on the Kate um, Kate Wolf version. So uh, the way we're playing it is tune standard capable on the first fret, and the chords are super easy, but just so we know, there's a G. I'm gonna say this in relation, it's obviously a G sharp and a C sharp, uh, but I'm gonna say it in relation to the capo as if it's open, so G shape. A C or F. Down in the sixth chord, E minor shape. Four chord, the C shape, these are all easy to find. Here is, and I'm going to just kind of talk this through, and hopefully it's close enough because I'm just doing this lesson real quick, so I'm not going to do multiple angles or anything. So um, that's how it starts. So we're doing open G, open B, open G string, hammer on in the second fret. Okay, so on the second fret G, play the open B, hit the, the G string again with your finger, slide up, and put your uh, first finger on the top two strings, so you're playing the top of this chord shape here, which is just your G sharp or A flat major in your E bar chord form, but we're just playing the top three strings, which is uh, fourth fret above the capo, third fret above the capo, and third fret above the capo. So. So, slide up and then hit the B string and then hit the high E, B string, and then, so there we hit the top two strings. I still got these three fingers sitting on here. We hit these, this dyad, so, and we hammer on, on the, uh, fifth fret above the capo, on and off, and then to the third string, fifth fret of the capo, and then back to our shape. So, okay, so, so far we have that's sort of the timing if I remember right. So, uh, it's kind of hard. There's two guitars and there's a bunch of arpeggiating going, but during a lot of this, there's kind of just um, kind of holding these little arpeggio notes. So when you hit like, uh, you know, you might want to add some of these little chord notes in. I don't think it's all that important which ones. I'll get it close for you. And then again chords and then okay so we're still holding this down and we're going one two three four five above the capo and hitting and we're pulling it off so we're where that middle finger is on fourth above the capo and then we're going to the D string fifth above the capo and we do that twice okay so fourth fret above the capo on the D string again. And we go down and now that's when we're going to our sixth chord here. So, and we go to the second fret. So, so we got. Okay, now we go. 
go. Open D string, second fret above the capo. Open G string, second fret of the G string. Slide back up to that shape. So now we're on the fourth fret and the third fret above the capo. So. And then that shape just slides back down to the one and the two. So let me check here because I just learned this. And I want to make sure that I'm not lying to you. So. Yeah, okay, so. So when we get down here to the first and second fret in this shape, first finger on the B string, middle finger on the G string. That's a. We pull off that middle finger, so second fret, open G string, and then the second fret of the D string above the capo. So. This is not the one lead guitar, but either way, it'll kind of get the feel. So, and then where we are now, we're on our four chord. We hammer this on. That's open D to the second fret of the D above the capo. So that's fourth string, third string, fourth string, second string, third string. Fourth string, and it sounds like this. Okay, so it does that first, that figure I just described. And then it goes, puts the pinky on this high E string, three frets above capo, pulls it off. Good. And just does first string, second string, third string. Oh, maybe it's just the two. Let me hear it off. Uh. Yeah, so that's just third string pulling it off, or first string pulling it off. Second string, third string, and it's this timing. Uh. Okay, so uh, now we got. Uh, <laughs> actually, I forget what we have. finger on the second fret above the capo, slide up to that same shape again, and we started out with kind of, so, uh, uh, sorry. So that's open, I think there's a hammer on there if I remember right, and then we go up and we're doing the sixth here. So I move my middle finger to the fifth fret above the capo, and my ring finger's on the high E, same fret, and I play the, let's make sure I'm not lying to you. Yeah, there's not really hammer on too much there, but, so just kind of slide up two to four. So that's going. Third fret, second string, first string, second string, first string, so. Uh, sorry. I think it just does. Sorry, guys. Uh, 
how it just goes. Sorry, I totally lied to you, so. Second, third string, first string, and then it goes up to that shape I was just talking about. So that's just sliding, hitting my G string, third string. And then when I get up there, I hit the high E, then I hit the third string again. And I might play it with a finger. hit the high one, hit it again, slide it down, hit the high one, and then it slides up, slide up and down. And she's kind of playing a little bit of a dyad. I'm not sure if she's doing the pick, but um, I think it's probably with the finger. I would probably play like this. So we get them both in there. And then we're going to our sixth chord again, but we're playing it here, which is uh, middle finger, fourth fret above the capo, same shape as before. First finger covering the top two strings on the third fret above the capo. And then we're gonna be hammering on with our ring finger onto the B string, sixth fret above the capo. So. First string, hit the second string and hammer it on. And I think that's the phrase exactly. Yep. So we do that hammer on. First string, second string, first string, second string, hit the third string, and then we do that phrase again end on the high E. So that whole phrase is. Okay, and then I'm not exactly sure how she plays this, but you could play it like this. And it's kind of, so we're going, I'm playing it. I put my first finger on this. We're on our uh, four chord here. So I am on the fifth fret above the capo. One, two, three, four, five. I put down my finger to play all three chords. You sort of arpeggiate it quickly there. So, ending on the second string, then put your middle finger on the uh, seventh fret above the cable, fifth fret, and then back to the fifth fret B string, and then the slide is. I would do first finger, B string, third fret, slide down to the first fret, open, middle finger on the second, G, and then first fret, B. fret B open, second fret G, second fret B, open G, and then the last little run is first fret B, pull off, open G, and then third fret of the B. Okay, sorry, a lot of, little bit sloppy, but uh, you have to pay for, and I just learned it, so the whole thing kind of slow if you want to hear it, if I can remember it, I'm not sure if I'll be able to, so. Yeah. 
timing was a little off there, but if you listen to it, you can get the timing. Like I said, I just learned it, and I was shocked that no one had done a lesson on the intro there, because uh, I think it's a song a lot of people play. So, anyways, uh, hope you enjoy it. Hope it helps someone else.